At a little after 9.30 on Monday morning, a 4.2 magnitude earthquake struck right here in the mountains of central Idaho. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Joey Martin, and I took a trip from Twin Falls to Stanley to find out how Monday morning's earthquake compares to the big one back in 2020 and how local residents are reacting to the morning shakeup. This was a, certainly a, a pretty sizable earthquake, a 4.2, at least as it is reported by the USGS. The central mountains of Idaho is an active seismic region. Usually, the earthquakes in this area are minuscule, but every now and then, a quake will hit that rattles the region. It is uh, located, at least right now, in the, uh, in the kind of the Yankee Fork area. Claudio Berti is the director of the Idaho Geological Survey and a state geologist. He says the mountains of central Idaho is a known seismic area, and the United States Geological Survey have been gathering data since the last major quake in 2020. Uh, it is a region of many faults, uh, and uh, somehow you know, the rugged topography that characterized that area is certainly supported by, you know, by rocks that move and, and, and mountains that uh, show their, uh, their, their juvenile behavior, I would say. Bertie says Monday morning's quake was pinpointed about six to seven miles deep along the border of the Sawtooth and Chalice National Forests and definitely would have been felt as far away as Twin Falls and Boise. It is a pretty, a pretty standard seismicity for that part of Idaho that we don't see uh, a very deep earthquake. For two Idahoans passing through Stanley, the earthquake was strong enough to feel all the way back at their home in Horseshoe Bend. My, my husband felt it. I, was, I saw the plant move. It wasn't as impressive as the big one a couple, about five years ago. So it was, it was, it was interesting. And then we check our, that make sure there was one. It wasn't just us, our old age. <laughs> we felt that the plants were shaking and I could feel it in my easy chair. I knew it was something. Despite the shock being felt so far away, surprisingly, most of the people I spoke to said they felt nothing in Stanley. I didn't hear it. I didn't feel it. <laughs> I wasn't even aware there was an earthquake. For David Smith, earthquakes are just part of everyday life living in a mountain town in central Idaho. Put in the back of your mind, it's one of those things that happens. <laughs> Due to the remoteness of the epicenter of the earthquake, no damage has been reported as of yet. The Idaho Geological Survey wants to remind people that aftershocks are a possibility. Officials in the area also want to remind people that avalanche danger is extremely high thanks to Monday morning's rumble. Reporting in Stanley, I'm your neighborhood reporter Joey Martin, Idaho News 6.